Usually, we review fewer workstation laptops as they come out less often than business or gaming ones. Now, our review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P15V was the fourth one in the span of a month, which is borderline crazy, as it has never been the case before. Thankfully, this can serve a purpose, as we were able to put it against some of its competitors, such as the ZBook Fury and Power G8. Similar to them, the ThinkPad comes with an analogous CPU selection, giving you the option of up to the core i7-10875H. You can also get a Xeon CPU, which is on a whole other level, being part of the Intel V Pro platform and supporting ECC memory, all crucial stuff for a workstation. Without further ado, today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Lenovo ThinkPad P15V. Like other ThinkPads, you get a rigid and sturdy laptop with the industrial design that we all know and appreciate. You get rugged edges and a rough finish. While the entire laptop is made using hard plastic, it doesn't feel cheap at all, even going as far as passing the mill spec testing. It is also surprisingly hassle-free to carry around for a workstation, weighing only 2.07 kg and having a profile of around 24 mm. The lid opens easily with a single hand and doing so reveals a matte display with relatively thin bezels, an HD webcam on top with a think shutter and an optional IR sensor with Windows Hello Face recognition. The lid is also quite bendy, which is an unpleasant thing to see from a laptop at this price point. The laptop offers two SOTOM RAM slots, which support up to 64GB of memory, but that's not all, since if you pick a Xeon option, you can take advantage of ECC RAM. Storage-wise, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 drives, which come with RAID support. Here is our teardown video which shows exactly how to safely access both the SOTOM and SSD slots. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The laptop comes with two IPS display options, both with a size of 15.6 inches. The first one has a full HD resolution, while the second one has a 4K resolution. We chose the latter option, and needless to say, we were excited to test it and use it. The panel had excellent viewing angles, a maximum brightness of 545 nits in the middle of the screen, and 575 nits as an average for the entire area of the display, calculating a deviation of 15%, and a pretty high contrast ratio of 1500 to 1. This notebook uses the X-Write Color Assistant app, which comes with several presets to pick from. The display covers 99% of the sRGB color gamut, 98% of the Adobe RGB gamut, and 90% of the DCI-P3 gamut. The color accuracy isn't as great as we hoped it would be, as even with our design and gaming profile, we couldn't bring down the Delta E value to match the standard. Here are the rest results with both the default settings and sRGB profile enabled from the X-Write Color Assistant, left, and with the Gaming and Web Design, profile, right. The laptop has many software goodies, but we'll mainly mention the Think Shield suite, which brings the security of this laptop to a standard above the rest. Think Shield has several components, with software being one of them. Lenovo has designed a whole system, with certified supply chains, so that quality hardware isn't tampered with, security stickers on every batch of products, and good care of devices after their lives have ended. Hardware-wise, you get a great backlit keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback. You get a full-sized numpad and small arrow keys, which are a bit of a letdown. The touchpad is also amazing, coming with the infamous Mylar surface cover, providing smooth gliding and accurate tracking. The I.O. is also quite wide, as it is split between the left and right sides. You get a power plug, a Thunderbolt 3 connector, and a smart card reader, all on the left. On the right, you can find a security slot, an RJ45 connector, two USB Type-A 3.2 General 1 ports, an HDMI 2.0 connector, an SD card reader, and an audio jack. Also, there is a SIM card tray on the back. The cooling solution consists of a total of two heat pipes, which doesn't seem to be enough for a Xeon CPU and a Quadro GPU. The CPU reaches 99 degrees Celsius in the first seconds of our stress test, and maintains it throughout the entire test, while the clock speed slowly diminishes, 
ending the test running at 3.19 GHz. The 40-watt GPU is pretty easy for the cooling to handle even after 30 minutes of testing. The Quadro P620 maintained a steady temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Even though the laptop has a single fan, it can become quite noisy once you apply a heavy load to the system. Also, image rendering or gaming will leave the keyboard pretty warm, as we recorded an outside temperature of 46.7 degrees Celsius.